How can it be that presentation skills are so important, yet people invest so little time? That is why we have Presentation Gym. I believe that training your presentation muscles is key to your career success. According to a study by Brezi, 70% of employed Americans who give presentations agree that presentation skills are critical to their success at work. Nancy Duarte, a recognized expert for business presentations, even speaks of 86%. At the same time, she argues that only 25% would invest more than two hours to prepare an important presentation. Do you feel the power of these facts and figures? A good presentation cannot do without them. Numbers, facts and figures are central, just like stories. Numbers and facts give credit to what you say. The only problem is, oftentimes numbers rarely speak for themselves. You have to make them vivid, make them accessible, you have to put them in context. No one has done this better than Hans Rosling. What can we learn from him? Let me show you three things. I talk to my students about global issues. So one girl said very cleverly, it's very easy. Western world is a long life in a small family and developing world is a short life in a large family. And I like that definition because it enabled me to transfer their mindset into a data set. And here we have the data set. And you see all the world moves over to a two-child family and a life with 60 to 70 years. But some countries remain back. I really love the way Hans Rosling operates here. He tries to turn the mindset of his students into a data set. And the result is that the mindset of the students is correct for the year 1950. And because the data set is different today, the mindset has to change as well. That is the core message of Hans Rosling. Simple, but brilliant. Fact-based and visualized in an extremely convincing way. The first thing we can learn here, search for powerful facts and figures. And you don't have to be a professor of your subject like Hans Rosling is. My advice, search for convincing numbers that support your arguments. Use the internet, go on a treasure hunt, and I'm sure you will come out with some gold nuggets. At PNG, when we design new campaigns for our customers, we always look at our shopper research data first. We want our ideas to have a profound basis. Having said that, all of those facts and figures, data tables and the like are useless if we don't manage to properly present and to unpack them for our audience. How do you do that? The most important thing, show your numbers and your facts in a way that your audience can easily and instantly grasp them. Do not show overloaded graphs and tables. Your audience must be able to see the meaning and the significance immediately. Hans Rosling also demonstrates this fantastically. See for yourself. And I am today launching a brand new analog teaching technology that I picked up from IKEA. This box, this box contains one billion people. And our teacher told us that the industrialized world, 1960, had one billion people. And the developing world, she said, they had two billion people. And they lived away then. There was a big gap between the one billion in the industrialized world and the two billion in the developing world. Amazing, isn't it? So simple and so powerful. The boxes are memorable instantly. A brilliant prop. I encourage you, try not to use PowerPoint for your next presentation, but real objects. Or what is totally underestimated, the flip chart. Flip charts are great because you can take your audience with you on a journey. You do not show the numbers all at once, but you develop the message step by step so your audience can easily follow you. An example from our PNG Shopper research was this chart. It is about penetration. How many consumers does a certain brand reach in a year? I can either show it like this in PowerPoint or I can disrupt by using a flip chart. I draw the two axes and say, in 2012, we have reached this figure. In 2013, this number. In 2014, this number. 
Can you see where the trend is going? Exactly, steep down. That is, for we must act now before it is too late. Can you feel the difference from a PowerPoint chart? <laughs> with a flip chart illustration or with props like Hans Rosing's boxes, you will never overload your audience with those complex PowerPoint charts that we all have seen before. Second learning. Visualize your data in a very simplistic form and unpack them step by step. A powerful visualization is one route to take. Putting your numbers into perspective, into context, is the other. Figures, data and facts develop their own power when they are brought into relationship. In relationship or into comparison to something that your audience already knows. Also here, see how perfectly Hans Rosling does it. And in 1960, all Swedes were, buy, were saving to try to buy a Volvo like this. This was the economic level at which Sweden was. But in contrast to this, the developing world, far away, the aspiration of the average family there was to have food for the day. And they were saving to be able to buy a pair of shoes. There was an enormous gap in the world when I grew up. A few years ago, I gave a presentation on the explosion of technology usage, far and foremost of the smartphone. I read that Apple sold 78 million iPhones in one quarter. 78 million. Is that a lot or is it a little? Can I perhaps compare this number to something else? Make it more exciting, more tangible? So I quickly calculated how much that is per day. The answer? Almost 800,000 iPhones on a single day. Sounds better already. But now the comparison. I looked at how many babies are actually born per day. And according to the UN, that's about 360,000 every day. Meaning Apple sets twice as many iPhones on a single day than babies are born worldwide. Of course, I mean, you can compare it with thousands of other things, but the effect is always the same. By comparing the numbers with something familiar, they're not only easier to understand, but also easier to remember. Especially when we talk about those large numbers. So the third learning, put your facts and figures into relation to something your audience already knows. To summarize, find strong facts and figures. Visualize them as simple as possible. Set them in relation to something your audience already knows. I hope you enjoyed this training session. Watch the TED Talk from Hans Rosling to the end. It is really worth it. And if you are inspired and want more, check out his book. That's it for today. If you like these tips, just click on subscribe. And if you want help with your presentation, send it to me and we will look at it. See you and bye bye.